Hi, I'm Jason O'Dell, and today I'm going to talk about supporting your telephoto lenses properly with a tripod and uh, other accessories. So when you're out there photographing wildlife, you're most commonly going to be using some form of telephoto lens. Now telephoto lenses are great, but the bigger they get, the heavier they get, and they need to be properly supported uh, so that you can get the sharpest possible shots. Now, as the lenses get larger, you may end up getting a lens that comes with a collar and a foot for your tripod. Now, this is my Nikon 300mm f4 lens, and I've actually put on a third-party foot, which is a, made by Really Right Stuff. It's, a, it's an Arca Swiss foot, so it can go right into my Really Right Stuff BH55 ball head, which I have here. I've got this convenient little clamp lever lock. So if I put this on here, like this, I can support the entire camera and have the weight on the tripod and I'm not stressing the joint between the camera and the lens. Now this is fine with a lens this size, 70 to 200 millimeter lenses, 300 f4, but as you get a little bit bigger, you might start to run into some problems because the weight of the lens starts to become a significant factor and balancing that lens can get tricky. Now let's take a look at what happens when we move up to a larger lens. In this case, I've got the 200 to 400 millimeter f4 VR Nikon lens. Now this lens weighs about, oh, six or so pounds on its own. And again, it has a tripod collar so you can rotate it and a foot. And I can mount this lens on my Really Right Stuff ball head, but when I do that, it's going to be prone to flopping around. It's going to be pretty loose unless I really tighten the drag down significantly on the ball head. Now this ball head can certainly handle the weight. That's not the issue. It can just get a little bit trickier to use, especially if you're in the field, things are moving quickly, and you forget to tighten it down, it might flop on you. So one way we can make it a lot easier to hold the lenses is by using something called a gimbal head. And there's two different options out there. Uh, both of them, the ones I recommend, are made by a company called Wimberly. The first one we're going to take a look at is called the Wimberly Sidekick, and it works for lenses in this range, 300, 400, and 500 millimeter lenses, depending on the mass of your tripod. So here is the Wimberly Sidekick. It's a small, easily packable, portable gimbal adapter mount, and it has its own Arca Swiss style clamp on it, and it's designed to fit into the Arca style clamp, the Arca Swiss style clamp on your ball head. So in order to use this, what we need to do is drop the ball head down into one of the drop notches and tighten it up. And then you place the sidekick into your clamp and tighten that down. The next step is to attach your lens. So I've got my lens here, my big 200 to 400, and I'm going to put it into the clamp and tighten this down, being very careful to make sure that I've got it secure before I let go of this thing. Once I do that, I've now got this lens on what's called a gimbal type mount. I use my ball head's panning knob to turn, and I have relatively effortless movement of this system. If I want to lock it down, you just turn the knob here on the sidekick itself. So this is great, very easily packed, but again, it works best with lenses in this size class, the, the 200 to 400 f4, you could probably use a 500 f4 with this, uh, but the bigger lenses, uh, it's not gonna hold that much weight. So if you've got a really big lens, like a 600 or a 500 f4, or even a 400 28, something that's very large and heavy, what you might want to do is consider using the next model up, which is the full Wimberly head. So let's take a look at that. Here is the full Wimberly gimbal head. And I've got it mounted on my 5 Series Gitzo tripod, and I'll use this with my larger lenses, sometimes my 200 to 400, and always when I'm using my 600 millimeter f4. Now this head replaces the tripod head altogether. It does come apart, but instead of having it with my ball head, I have to remove the head and put this on my tripod directly. It's got a panning base with a lock, locking knob, and it also has the gimbal portion. And what's nice about this is that it, you can not only 
adjust the uh, the lens back and forth in the clamp, but you can also adjust how high the lens camera combination sits in your rig. And that's important because if you do it right, you can more or less dial in the lens to its exact balance point, making uh, the need for you to lock it down less necessary. You still can lock it down, but you can have your lens perfectly balanced. Let's take a look at how this mounts on here. So here's my 200 to 400 VR combination again. I just sit this in the cradle with the clamp, make sure that it seats in right, tighten it down, and now what you can see is by just adjusting the height and adjusting the position of the lens in the foot, I can have this essentially completely balanced at any point. So when I'm using this rig, I have a completely easy one-hand operation to point at whatever I want. I get smooth panning, smooth tracking, and it makes this lens camera combination, which probably weighs oh, 08 or 09 pounds, and more so with something like a five or 600 millimeter lens, makes it almost effortless to use. So when you're out there in the field, these are the kinds of combinations you can use. Either a ball head with a tripod foot, a sidekick, or the full Wimberly head. When you're shooting wildlife, this is a good accessory to have, especially if you've got big glass. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.